Hey Slash. Good morning. You ready to inspect the way in, bro? You got the perfect position. Alright, let's do this. That way you can just lay there. You don't have to move. And you can keep a good eye on what's going on. Make sure that there's no cheating or anything, right? Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's do it. So, uh, the number to beat from yesterday is 163.8. Let's see what we got today. Mm -mm -mm. 162.9, bro. We're getting there. We're in the 162s now. Yeah. Cock a doodle doo. Coffee maker ASMR. Yeah. The sounds of a full pot of coffee being made. Look at that percolate action. Get it, percolator, get it. This coffee ASMR is so good, you don't even need to drink it. Oh. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, look at that. That's what it looks like, folks. Inside. Alright guys, it's time to make the coffee, and uh, I got the butter, I got the coffee, I made a big pot today, I plan on drinking this whole thing, because I am actually really tired despite the fact I got lots of sleep, I don't understand, but uh, guys, if anybody that knows what I'm about to make, type it in the chat. If you know what type of coffee this is, say it in the chat. And if you know why, I want to see somebody that's been following along that knows the ways of the Keto Master. Why am I doing this? And what kind of coffee is it? It's not coffee anymore. It's coffee. And pouring hot coffee on butter is so satisfying, y'all. Just saying. I got it in my get-her-done cup. As you can see, 
because I'm going to have to get her done. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to pour the rest of this coffee in here to keep it hot. That way, it'll still be hot later. End up wasting coffee a lot that doesn't get drank because it gets cold. Not today. Not today. He is Slash, looking around, trying to decide what to do. Licking his chops again. Here he comes, he's walking up. He walks up by his conkickaroo. Then he looks around and meows. He is so lost and confused, he doesn't know what to do. He looks to the left, he meows and he comes at me. He looks for my foot, then he wipes his head on my foot. Then he walks away towards his Kong Kikaroo Slash song. So, one of the things I like to do before I cook is get everything ready, and that includes dicing up some onion. Love this thing right here. So today I'm making, for the first time, cheesy chicken meatballs. And I've already got this started. I got, I got a minced onion, one full onion, four beaded eggs. And I here I got uh, 800 grams of uh, chicken, ground chicken. Uh, it said for me to put this in the food processor, but I'm just going to have to mash it up by hand because I don't have one. Uh, I'm not nerdy enough yet. And um, so we got four eggs, two packs of uh, ground chicken, one chopped up onion, 100 grams of almond flour. Bam. 100 grams of shredded mozzarella cheese with a little bit of cheddar. Um, I added a little extra, but roughly 100 grams. Bam. I'm going to take some Johnny Salt. Uh, yeah, this is the bomb.com. If you don't have Johnny Salt, I recommend you get it because it's good on literally everything. What does it say here? Vegetables, steak, eggs. Potatoes, hamburgers, fish, mayonnaise, carrots, lettuce, tacos, candy, pizza, every. <laughs> Anyways, I'm putting some of that up in there. That's going to be the spice. Yeah, that's enough. And uh, one more thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. It said... One tablespoon of uh, minced garlic. I went with three cloves. I think that's a little extra, but um, yeah. So I'm going to mash this all up and uh, turn it into meatballs. And then put it on a, uh, a baking sheet, which is ready to go. With some baking paper. By the way, this is what it looks like. Before the balls, before I form the balls, now I'm going to make the balls, balls, balls. That's right, guys. I am making my mom's tangy mustard cauliflower again. Um, just push pause right now or come back later and push pause on this. This is the recipe. I'm not going to go completely through it because we just did it in a recent vlog. But this stuff was so bomb, I'm making it again. But I'm adding some uh, small adjustments. Um, so I got the cauliflower ready. And I got the uh, sauce ready. But this time, instead of uh, chopped minced onion, I put in some garlic powder. 
with the uh, mayonnaise and mustard. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the cheese on it, but this time I'm also gonna add some crumbled up bacon. Ooh, simmer down now. That steam. Um, I'm gonna crumble up bacon on top of that, so it's gonna be cheese, bacon, sauce, and then back into the microwave for about 30 seconds to one minute, and then that cauliflower is, it's gonna be so bomb it won't even you can't even ask my mom. It's just the bomb.com. The end. Come on now. So, sauce. Then the cheese. So it looks like a big old snowball. And bacon. Because, oh, bacon is bomb. Bacon is life, according to Nerdette. Uh, I don't know if bacon was overkill, but I just threw that in there to make it even more satisfying now i'm gonna put the lid on this and pop it back in the microwave for 30 minutes to uh one minute or so and then let it sit for a while and it's ready to go it will be hot as soon as dinner is ready all i gotta do is take the lid off so uh lid on and into the microwave it goes and there are those uh i cooked them in the oven for about 20 minutes and um, I don't know if I, I forgot to mention it or not, but I actually used an ice cream scoop to uh, make the balls. And um, yeah, they look like I think they're done. I cooked them for about 20 minutes on uh, 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. I think they're done. They look good. They smell so damn good. All right, guys. Let's just see. Let's let's just test this. I'm gonna peel it off and see if it's dinner ready. Oh! <laughs> Would you? Ooh, that act. It, that was actually like a fart that smelled good. <laughs> Cause it's, cause it's cauliflower, but it's oh, it's gonna be so damn good. And there you have it, folks. Today's dinner it wasn't that hard. It, it took a little bit of preparing, but uh, was actually pretty easy for, in comparative to how delicious it's gonna be. So, like I like to say, bone appetizzle. <laughs>